please welcome the proud father of tonight's two trophy handlers, also known as the Executive Director of the Writers Guild of America East, Lowell Peterson. All right, we got some Writers Guild in the house. And I want to give a shout out, of course, to the greatest trophy presenters uh, on the planet, my daughters. A year ago, standing right here, I talked about the importance of resistance. Resisting the retrograde forces who attack the free press and denigrate freedom of expression. Resisting those who marginalize, those who oppress, and those who harass. At the Writers Guild of America East, we believe the best way to resist is to keep fighting, to keep moving forward, not just to protect, but to empower, not to mourn, but as we've heard a lot about tonight, to organize. This strategy is what has informed our work with the people who craft content for digital news. In just the last two and a half years, more than a thousand digital writers, editors, uh, producers, and others have joined with us to bargain collectively, not just to make gains in the workplace, but also to gain a voice on the job. And tonight, tonight for the very first time, the Writers Guild of America honors great work in digital news. See, this resistance works. The nominees tonight are At the Capitol, with those for whom last night mattered the most, written by Emma Roller, SplinterNews.com. Becoming Ugly, by Madeline Davies, Jezebel.com. The Super, that's a voice on the job, let me tell you that, right? The Super Predators, written by Melissa Jeltsin and Dana Liebelson, HuffingtonPost.com. And Why Did Politicon Make Me Want to Die, written by Libby Watson, SplinterNews.com. And the award goes to, La La Land. No, that's not digital. Melissa Jeltsin and Dana Liebelson. The Super Predators, Huffington Post. To be beautiful, she goes unnoticed. She knows. I would like no to say that they're accepting craves. Los Angeles, but that would Attention be a bit. She praises. Anyway, we and accept the award on behalf of Melissa Jeltsin and Dana Legalson. Thank you very much. <laughs> 